I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what append method in csop.net. So, you want to append method, so it is used to add content to a string builder. So, and here there is a one point. Previously, we are using uh, uh, this concept to concatenate the a string. So, add here a string, str, and here initial as with a space. Here after str plus equal to welcome. So, add here str1 equal to str1 plus welcome. So, a space concatenate with welcome. And here after a space welcome that concatenate with hello world. And after we are doing this concept to print. So, if I execute here, so the output it's a display a space welcome hello world here. So, this is a very long concept. So, except writing this. Add here we can use add here append method to concatenate the string. So add here by using this concept, so it create new uh, string instance. So like add here first time add create add here str1 and here after that create the new string new instance here. So like so that create the one object here for str1. You can see the output it's a displaying. A space welcome hello world. So in place of this, we can use add here append method. So I'm going to make that comment, and here after all the points that I written at this place. So add here this is from here. This is the simplest code. So add here we need to create first one a string builder class object. And here we need to provide anything like a uh, space here, welcome, and here, hello, and open. So if you take the cursor here, you get some kind of error, so potential here. And here, this is the name space required, and here, system.txt. So inside system.txt, the definition written, and here for a string builder. So let's click add, and here you can see system.txt namespace that added. Now here I have created one object st, st by using at here new string builder constructor and here I passed one space. So by using st dot append so at here space that concatenate with welcome next welcome con this two concatenate with hello and this threes are concatenate with world and here after that to displaying the output. So by using this concept, add here it will not create new instance every time. So on same instance like st, it will work on. So see add here st here after it work on on st only. And here a string builder boost performance of concatenating many a string together. Suppose if you want to concatenate lots of a string values, so you can easily do that. Add here it or uh, it enhance the performance and. Uh, uh, if when you are using your uh, add here append, you should use add here a string builder cross object. So if you execute to this field code, so add here it will display the output a space welcome and hello world. And here you can see the output it's displaying a space welcome hello world. The same output I am getting at here by using append method. So append is very easy to use. It not create any new instance every time. Suppose if you want to concatenate thousands of values, okay, thousand, five thousand value, you can use the loop. Okay, here I'm using the add here, str, string builder, str object, new, and here after i. So you can use add here i start from zero. You can use the add here thousands, like five thousands. So it will not create instance. Add here simply it is i value start, and here i value that add here is now. Oh, this is integer value. So integer value that can concatenate with a space comma. So if I execute here, this will display 0 to 4 triple 9. Here you can see 0 to 4 triple 9 value it's so or displaying and it all value concatenate number concatenate with add here a string. Or if you want to add something new, so here you only need to write add here a time. So here you need to press start and here after a here you can find different kind of append format join and here join and here list join line so i will discuss this in later so suppose if you want to add some character 
like so here i'm giving you at in single court so if you give at your single court that means at it so concatenating number here after a string and your h is the at your it's so as you character so it will at your append here so let's execute that and check the output again you can see this the output itself this thing so h is concatenated so that's why we are using so append to add here concatenate the restrict values. Yeah, let's go on comment. Here you can uh, concatenate any kind of values. So only you need to use add here append here after keep the value. So one time create the object after that you can use append method multiple times. So by using this concept we can or concatenate any kind of string value. So if you want to add concatenate to this string, so here simply write st object here after append and here you can write first string, next string. Here after that you can easily concatenate. So like this I'm going to concatenate at here h1 with this all. So here let's check the output. see and your first concatenate and your space welcome hello word and h1 so that's why we are using append method so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you